Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat for Corona Part 68. We got a road course special, basically. Watkins Glen and Mid-Ohio. Yep, I was right, okay. So, uh, obviously we're going into this with uh, not the road course chassis we ideally want. But last year we got all top 5s or top 10s there, so uh, and road courses, so we should be fine in terms of that stuff. So, there's really nothing much more to look into. So, um... You know, we got 10 different winners, so Sindrick and Haley are the only two without wins that are in at the moment. And Sindrick and Haley are, okay, Sindrick's 6th and Justin Haley's 10th, so, okay. Well, um, other than that, we'll just get right into qualifying and see where we start. Wow. Yeah, I just hit the curb and it just sent me. Oh, there goes that good lap time. It was probably going to be somewhere around a 112 if I had to guess, but... That kind of stirred out all the windows. So. One th actually, still 112.6. That's still pretty decent. 12th place. Wow. I could have really been in the top 10 easily. But it's okay. We should have a good enough car to... Yeah, we should be fine. But that, that kind of sucked. Just sometimes that curb just sends you. Why Sadler second? I don't know. I almost dropped a controller on my ball, but I've been pretty good at that anymore. So, Alright, we're 11th, which I think is a problem because now we're going to be on the outside in turn one. Even though the, the grid order is all ass backwards here. At least, oh my god, the pole sitter. <laughs> Chase Briscoe choked in the oh god. Not really choked, but his, his car choked. At least Sadler now is on pole. Wow. Well, I'm confused. Well, here we go. See what we can do in stage one. It's gonna probably be like a lot how it was last year, where we'll probably just kinda get up to a certain spot, then chill through turn one. Actually, pretty well, all things considered. A little bit wide, but it still worked out. Now he's got to try to... Because our goal is a top five to get that instead of the contract. That even if we don't get it, that's like 40000 lost. So it's, I, I'm not too worried just because I wish it was 70000 But they want it instead... Ah, okay. But surprisingly, no front bumper edge. But we are going into this with obviously not the ideal chassis. Wow, I win that corner way too deep. I am sorry, Michael Annette. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, I got my front bumper freaking. I've never seen it that color before. <laughs> God damn it. I went in that corner way too deep. My braking zone is on another dimension from these AI drivers. Outside of Christopher Bell again, we get like just such a run to that chicane, and yeah, we're right there. So imagine if our car wasn't damaged. But as I was trying to say, is that our car is not optimal for road courses. It's actually a super speedway chassis, so our ratings like 85, 82, and 82, I think, which is still a little bit better than what it was last year. I think by about three percent or so. That's better, or three. So we got that on our side. So two to go left in the stage. We should be able to get by Sadler here. The only problem is no matter where I finish here, I'm still going to have to pit and repair that damage. So that's still going to put us back quite a bit. Which sucks. But should be able to get by him here. No problem. Actually, we'll get him up the hill. Alright, well, I wasn't really expecting that. But yeah, there we go. Second place. Finish off stage one second. Just really couldn't do anything to Cole Custer. He was pulling away. I mean, the damage is really holding us back that much. So he may have a chance. But if not, I, we don't have nothing for Custer. He's just way too fast so we'll pay here that's actually i just want i i hit a once and it clicked it twice that's troy don't be a problem on me all right all right so four okay everything looks good so we'll pit okay okay wow eight spots well that's almost basically where we qualified so now we gotta do this all over again and try to get damage well we'll see if uh custer does not have a great stage two and we can Maybe do something about it. I don't know. Again, turn one here. Sadler takes the early lead. Hit Grala there a little bit. However, okay, Custer's gonna almost take the lead back, but they're side by side, so we could maybe cheese the lead right now, but I'm not sure. But that's a lot of stack up right now. Actually, that's a real good stack up because they're slowing down to the inside of the net. That was pretty ballsy. And I'm afraid to... I don't even know how early they... Okay, they break a little bit earlier than that line. Okay, well... 
Sadly tried. I'll give him a lot of props. He tried, but... Oh, 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 don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck. Don't wreck. Okay, we're good. And we'll be here in second place for the remainder of Stage 2. That was an uneventful Stage 2. I just got second place and nothing happened since. I'm just in my own zone. I... <laughs> wow. Well, this will be a pretty simple race. I mean, we'll get second, have a good money day, and Cole Custer will have a pretty easy win. I mean, he was far out in front of third, too, so we'll pit here. And that's really about it. And still second, but we do have the preferred lane in turn one, so we may be able to get the lead, maybe, and try to hold them off. Cole Custer seems to be clearly the best car of the field, and if we could somehow just get him back a couple spots, then maybe, just maybe, we can lead uh, a few laps. And break turn one a little bit later. That actually worked, and we'll get the lead a little bit off track. Perfect. All right, that was... That was better than I ever imagined. Now we just gotta try to hang on for it to uh, lead a few laps, but we should be able to get a good run through the chicane and try to hold them off from there. We just need cars behind me to start racing to uh, put Cole Custer back, but I just don't know if that's even really doable. We'll see how much we gain on him here. Just get through here. Yeah, we gain a lot of time, but we just lose so much in just straightaway speed that even with that big gain there, it, just, it still doesn't really amount to much, unfortunately. Well, we let it lap. Mission accomplished. That's all I wanted, just to feel good about myself and lead a lap. To my shock, we're still leading this. Now, don't get it twisted. We're still, like, on the edge of wrecking because I'm pushing the car that hard to keep myself in front of him. But even when he gets really close to me, he's not really, he's not really making an attempt to pass me. So, and it's just been kind of this, where he's just right there, but... Still gotta focus, still gotta, do, you know, go into sweat mode, but for the most part, it's, uh, pretty manageable right now. And it's, it's possible. We can cheese it. We can absolutely do it. Well, Michael and that short pitting. I, well, not really short pitting, but undercutting me. That's interesting. But yeah, we're gonna be pinning this lap anyway, so I don't know how much of a gain that's gonna be. I'm pretty sure it will be, but we are just gonna take... I, like, I'm screwed either way because this track, you, you can't take laps, and laps are burning off a lot more than the rights. But the game refuses that because, you know, it's just, it's just impossible to do, so. That sucks, but we'll put on rights anyways, or some kind of tires, just to not be nearly as bad as I am now. Even though I've been holding my own pretty damn well, so. I'm shocked by that, because I really didn't think I had any chance to hold off Cole Custer, but here I am, holding him off. Alright, we're pitting here, and 40, wow, I was, well, I remember in the core race, I said it was 30, and I fucked up. I'm just surprised it's 40, like, that feels so not right, but I, wow. I put on right sides, and it changed the lefts. I mean, it makes sense that they did that because those burn off more, but that's not what the thing said. Well, either way, it worked out for me, so, um, I'm not complaining. Wait, wait a minute. It did the, it did the lefts, but it did the rights, actually. Well, <laughs> oh, NASCAR Heat 4, you're bringing out some jank, and my brain hurts. Oh my god, no fucking way. We were heading into the white flag. I, ha I have to go with four tires because they won't let me fucking pick laps. Oh, this game boned me. I'm going to get screwed on this pit road. I just, I know it. I can't stay out like another, like two laps with those tires. Like they 10% got burnt off in one lap. So I, I can't do it. So I have to go with four. I have no choice unless I want to blow a tire. So, wow. We were just about to head into the white flag and oh my God, I'm pissed. We're not going with any fuel. Not like it matters, but... Wow. The game just fucking boned me. What a bunch of shit, man. Like, God damn. I guess they all took four on that pit stop or something, and I guess now they took just rights? I I don't know. But that's just horse shit. I hate this game. That, that, that pisses me off. Like, there's, like, if the game just fucking let me have the option to pick left sides or rights... This would never have been a problem, but no, it's just too fucking hard to do that. And now 
because like like everybody at 704 or whoever left. First it was Zane, then it was all the other employees that got laid off. Then it's Sean Wilson. Who do I complain to? It's no one. It's just, it's forever just a problem in Heat 4's universe, and I'm pissed. It's just a bunch of bullshit. I had such a good car, I was able to hold them off and everything. I don't know what's going on up here, it's just a big stack of... I'm just gonna just kind of run through them all. That just sucks. God, I was gonna win that. It was like not even gonna be a, a problem, because we, we had at least like a four second lead. And it all just got just thrown out the window. Because this game is fucking stupid with, with shit like that. Like, so, I, like, offline is fun for most part, but then you got dumb shit like that that should have been, like, fixed since, like, fucking Heat Evolution. For the love of God. I know, nobody, I guess nobody just takes takes lefts at road courses. It's just impossible. You just have to take four. What a bunch of shit. Wow, and I got a course penalty. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Wow. I mean, they just stopped. They just... It's <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh my god! I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I don't, even, I don't even have words. Like, I was gonna win that. It was gonna be a great money day, and now I just... I got fucked. Because the game's stupid. Not, it's not like I'm going to win mid-Ohio, so it doesn't matter. That's just a whole bunch of bullshit. I just, like... That could have been so much better. Could have got an extra 40000 but no. Nope, the game had to be stupid. We'll get about 739000 Our payout stuff It's going to be crap for this. Or not the car, because we got terrible everything, so... Surprisingly moderate driving, considering the fact I got a part of the car, like... Orange or something, so... I'll take it, I guess. But that was just frustrating. Thank you, BJ McLeod. Noah Gregson, I didn't take you out, you piece of shit. Michael Annette, I did I did kinda hate you, so I apologize. But um Briscoe, I didn't wreck you. I you started in the fucking back. Maybe I did in that last restart. I don't know, but I guess we'll go to Mid Ohio and try to do something there. Well we have everything kinda good to go for Mid Ohio, so we'll have the same rating as we did at Watkins Glen, which is nice. Mom got a megaphone for Christmas, and um, she just used it to yell at me upstairs. So. That was a Christmas gift. She got it for herself, so now I got that to worry about in the video. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Well, we're good to go with everything. We'll try to do something. Try to get a top five. I really wanted that walk. It's been all my heart. Just let's get into it and hope for the best. You know what I forgot to do is... Um, Changed their settings for Mid Ohio because the tire and fuel is stupid. Also, what I didn't realize is that Watkins Glen I didn't have it on relax because I usually like to have it on relax for road courses. So if I did that at Watkins Glen, I would have won it. God damn it! I'm I mean I'm more pissed now. Well, through the final corner, I mean I pushed that car as hard as I possibly could, and I was still like three seconds there, so that's that's great. Thirteenth. We do need to probably qualify top five. That's probably why the goal is like that, but. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. I'm just so oh, upset. That's I just I had the car to win Watkins Glen. Not really, but I kind of was in position to win, and I got boned. That's such oh, that's just that that's man, it's probably that's bullshit of the year. So we'll just try to get a top five here. Um, I don't know what to really expect. This should probably go a lot better at Watkins Glen in terms of less bullshittery. But we're thirteenth. We should have a decent enough car to probably get a top five. I think. Four lap stage, six in the fuel. The fuel is weird here because it's like four laps, which is odd. This and Road America are really strange. So I don't know why it's like that. Actually, I think it's just here because I think Road America is fine. But if you go to the Cup Series in Middle Ohio too, it's also really weird. Now I got front bumper damage and now my car is ruined, so great. Michael Annette, Austin Cinder, God, yeah, oh, I just lost two spots. No, I'll gain it back. What, why, why are we beating Bane? Calm down. I should be saying that to myself, honestly. Well, here comes Jeremy Clemens. Not only the road course ringer, but the road course racist specialist. I said that all wrong, but um, yeah. So now he's uh, he's right behind me. I'm sure because me saying that is a lesson learned to. Support racism? Like, 
I don't even know how to even explain that, but that didn't make any sense at all. But <laughs> he got by me. I, I just don't have anything for them. Like, I guess I'm just not as good here compared to Walking Slime. And there goes Sindri for the spot, too. I, it's going to be a long race. It's going to be a long, frustrating race of just being slow. All right, well, that was a, that was a very sad stage. So we'll try to do something in stage two if we can, even, I don't know, but I will try. Lost four spots. I really don't know how, because I just, I took, I repaired damage, which was a second. I don't think that should cost me four seconds of uh, track time, but whatever. Um, all right, well, it's kind of go down here King. <laughs> basically nearly all the spots we lost on pit road and then some so that's that's adorable got four lap stage here again Clements don't do anything stupid and three wide poor Clements got absolutely just shuffled back there but we got a top five for now but it's not gonna last We'll finish off stage two and fifth Cole Custer was right behind me that whole time he just kept pressuring me but really Oh wait, no. Oh, never mind. Wow, that's embarrassing. Oh! Okay. Alright, I see you. Yeah, we'll, we'll repair, we'll do, we'll do something to favor. I can't even, I'm, I'm having a stroke. That's bad, oh god. Okay, that was a really shitty way to end stage two, but we got fifth. We got ass packed a little bit. I, I can't blame him, I'm, I'm slow, I'm slow, but if you're so fast, just drive right by him. So that that's all I'm saying. Will I lose like five, six spots again? No, actually gain a spot. All right, well, no, yeah, that wasn't okay. Uh, okay, wow, the leaderboard. <laughs> Leave it to Heat 4 to even have leaderboard issues where it just, it has to load that in. Never mind. I, man, this game just, it does things that I just am not used to. Oh my god, we're going to try to go for the lead. I was not expecting that. Well, that's adorable. I appreciate that game. Um, I don't think it's going to last, though. Because these cars are just so much faster than me. It's not like Watkins Glen, where I can hold them off. Well, then again, I did, so I don't know if that's going to work here. But I'll try. Damn, <laughs> Jesus. All right, I guess I am that slow, my lord. I, Michael Annette's here in that really cool looking scheme, I'm not gonna lie, That's, I think he's had that, he's re always raced that scheme in mid-Ohio, it seemed like. I remember even in Heat 2, I think he had something like that, so um, I don't know, looks cool. Right That was hot, not gonna lie. We actually had straightaway speed for a split second. Well, wait a minute. If I could just send it here. It's just so hard, because the car just... It's not optimal for this sort of stuff. I really gotta stop hitting those curbs, too, because they're just... They're huge here, and every time I hit them, it just throws my car off, so... I really gotta stop hitting them. Oh boy, okay, 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 I kind of deserve that. I've been, you know, holding people up. I, I get it. This is just, this is rough. <laughs> this is ugly, too. And we're somehow going to make it work and keep leading. That was... <laughs> Man, we're making this car wide like Ryan Newman's gut. Or Tony Stewart's gut, I guess, would work, too. Mike Harmon. I'll be tried again. But we're gonna have the preferred lane this corner. And we cleared him again. Oh my god, it's this is just this is intense. Right 
Oh my god. That was almost bad. I'm pinning the slab. A bunch of other cars are as well. We just continue to make blocks and just do everything we can to maintain the lead. It's been more intense than I thought. I really thought I was just going to lose the lead right away, but for some reason I'm still hanging on. So that's kind of impressive in and of itself. But we're just going to take rights and we'll be out in the way when we do pit. Again, we have only a couple laps left. So it shouldn't hurt us too bad just taking rights. And I feel like that's probably the safest bet to do. Because we're not going to have a Watkins Glen scenario where the tire, the, the left's going to burn out way more. It's actually holding up pretty well. Granted, I'm on three times aware compared to four. But still, even if I was on four, it'd probably still be a little bit better than, than what it was at Watkins Glen. So, yeah, we'll pit this time. And just hope that's all we can do. Oh. Okay, well, there goes our race. There goes our race. And I don't even know if I'm speeding. This has been a bad day. I mean, that was going so well. And I just threw the... Surprisingly, we're out first. I'm pretty shocked. Oh, never mind. Austin Sinner just won this race. It's like I don't want to win today or something with how I keep throwing away these races. I could have won Watkins Glen, and I had a really big chance to win here. If I didn't make that stupid mistake on Pirot, I would have had a couple of seconds on everyone, but I just you know, threw it all away. Michael and Nat have been just out for blood today. I mean, we've made contact so many times. And there goes everything. Oh, I'm, I'm just pissed as much as I was the first race. Looks like Michael and Nat may finally get the... He, he finally did it, ladies and gentlemen. It took him almost over 10 laps, but he finally got around. Congratulations. Well, that saved me. <laughs> that really saved me. So that was the white flag, and I was at like 4% of my left, so I was going to blow a tire that lap anyways, so that actually, yeah, that, that truly saved me. And we'll take home a top five. Wow. I, I don't even have words. That The game boned me, and then it kind of gave me a, a nice rebound, so I appreciate that. Well, NASCAR Heat 4 ran time, so I want to find an angle that I wanted to use, but there's no like TV action shots for like half this track, it feels like, because... I try to find it here, and I can't. We got this view. We got, like, this view here, but, like, there's nothing here. Like, it's, it's, wouldn't that be nice if you can be, like, how it was in NASCAR? But I'm actually going to use this reference. NASCAR 2011, the game, where you can find the replay shot, like, you want, like, this, and you go to photo mode, and then you got, like, free roam. Nah, this is too hard. We still, we're not, we're, like, in the year 2005 with replays. Like, we're just so far behind on everything. Well, um, I don't know why I'm two laps down. That's weird. There was not only three on the lead lap, so that makes even less sense. Austin Sindrick, <laughs> Sindrick with a win, so that puts him into the playoffs. Chad Pitchum ninth. Uh, no beer pit strategies kind of came with that, so I guess that was good. But that's like 80,000 for this race, and oh, actually 97,000, never mind. That was a lot better than I thought. That will now put us to about 837, no, 836,000. And... Yeah, maybe next part we'll get to uh, over a million. I would have to imagine because we're only like 170,000 away, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem because we got Bristol, which pays out decently. Not not, not amazing, but decently. Uh, I'm not playing pool with you, Michael Annette. I'm amazed you're not as mad. Austin Cindric, I don't give a shit if you're burning my brats. Okay, that I'm not burning a bro, all right? Uh, Hitler did that 87-something years ago, 70 years ago. All right, well, uh, let's see. It must have been... Yeah, uh, Jeremy Clemens, I'm not going to mistake a racist, so fuck you. Alright, so fuck you. Good shit. Team contracts. Ryan C. Well, I appreciate that, but I really don't want to race for an Xfinity team. I want to be my own team, so 
And yep, we do have a hot seat. It'll be a, the cup race at Bristol. So maybe next part we'll throw in um, two races, like the cup or the, the, you know, whatever race and then the cup race at Bristol. So that'll be, I guess, the, uh, the thing. So that's what I'll do. We have everything good to go for Bristol and Road America for our next uh, road course one. So now that we'll, I'm more than, I'm certain, I'm very certain that we will get a, you know, the, the hundred, you know, million thing for the suspension arrow. Suspension, what am I talking about for next part? So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm almost certain we will. So there's that. But yeah, let's uh, properly wrap this part up finally. Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazaring, Dave Utter, Chan 15, Alan Gray, NASCAR Number Org, Bailey Gary, Sean Hamill, Drew, Jonathan Carton, and Robert Dillon for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for a contribution and support to the channel every single month like this. It just means a lot. And I'm always just extremely grateful and just very appreciative for it. And you guys just always continue to make me really happy. So next part will be kind of different. I believe this is the last cup hot seat race of the season. I mean, it's either that or it's like Indy or something. So we've got that and then in, so it's either going to be Bristol or it's either going to be Darlington or Indy for like the next one if we even have that. I'm not sure but we may have a five star ride. I'm not sure. I mean we completed every incentive contract we had in that so possibly but I'm not sure. But yeah that'll do it for me in this part. Um, I'm thinking we may get over a million and get that suspension upgrade so looking forward to that. That may actually happen so We'll see. I'll see you all next part. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.